Welcome along to the third and final video in our tutorial series where we are creating our own song in Sonic Pi. In the first two tutorials we coded up the piano sections and the bass sections and it sounded a little something like this. Beautiful. So I could hear the piano on the bass nicely there. So what we've got left to do now is just add the drums in to our track. Okay, so what we're going to do with the drums is we're going to make use of some um, built-in sounds that come with Sonic Pi. They're called samples. Okay, and using those samples we can quickly throw them into our song and it will sound like a legit drum kit is playing in the background of our song. So we're going to start on the kick drum. Now the kick drum is the big drum that you play with your foot. Okay, so to get that started, we simply write the word sample. When you want to play uh, one of these samples, you just write the word sample. Put a space and then a colon and write down which sample you want to play. In this case, we want the drum heavy kick. So it's drum underscore heavy underscore kick. And that will play the sound of a kick drum once. It'll just go boom. We want it to play more than that. Now I did a little bit of maths before I started this tutorial and I worked out that we need to actually play this uh, kick drum 33 times to get it to play throughout the entire song. So let's make a loop before this kick drum is played. So in the line above the kick drum here, I'm going to write 33 dot times and then the word do. Okay, after the word do, what do we want to do? Well, we want to play sample drum heavy kick after each um, sample of that we want to sleep for 0 0.5 seconds and then we're going to end it okay that's our loop right there so it's going to happen 33 times and what's going to happen is we're going to play our kick drum once and then it's going to sleep for half a second then it goes back to the start and does it again and that just repeats itself over and over and over 33 times, which should take us up to the end of the song. Uh, now to test that out, we actually need to play it at the same time as the bass and the piano. And if you remember from previous videos, what we need to do is we need to write in underscore thread above our code and write the word do. And then at the end of our code, we just write the word end. Okay, that in thread basically says we're going to mash this sound up with the other sounds already playing at the same time. So let's have a listen and we'll see if we can hear that um, kick drum playing in the background. There it is. Alright, so that's sounding good. Okay, I don't care if it goes right to the end or not just yet. We'll worry about that at the minute, but so far, so good. What I might do just to break this section up too is put a hashtag in just write drums. So I know that I'm working on the drums section here. Okay, remember comments come in handy. Just explain what is happening in your code. Okay, so we've got the kick drum going on. Next thing we might whack in is the snare drum. Okay, um, hard to explain the snare drum, but it's basically the main drum that gets hit when you are playing the drums. You'll know it when you hear it in just a moment. What we're going to do is we're going to write in, um, we're going to sample, space, colon, the drum underscore snare underscore hard. Okay, we're hitting that snare drum pretty hard. That's the sound we want to go. After each hit on the snare drum, we're going to sleep for half a second, and then we're going to start repeating this over and over again. So at the moment, it only plays once. We need to make a loop to get this playing over and over throughout our song. So again, I've done the maths for you. We need to repeat it 16 times. So we write 16 dot times above our snare drum there. And we write do. So what do we want to do 16 times? We want to sample our snare drum and then sleep for half a second. Okay, and then we're going to end that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the in underscore thread above this as well, so it mashes in with the rest of our sounds, so they're all threaded together. So in thread do, 16 times do, the snare drum and the sleep. We end it, and then we've got to end this thread as well. Alright, 
I don't think that's going to quite work yet, but let's just have a listen and see what it does. All right, it's basically playing at the same time as the kick drum. I want it to go on the offbeat from the kick drum. So, where we've got 16 times do, I'm going to press enter and just sleep it for half a second before it actually begins. That way there'll be a rest when that kick drum plays, and then the snare drum will play. Okay, let's have a listen and we'll see what happens then. I might slow it down a bit too, which is what I'm looking for. That's better. All right, so that's sounding good. We've got the snare drum cranking nicely. Um, we've, got to, we've got to put some cymbals in next. Okay, so throughout this entire song, we're hitting our hi-hat cymbal pretty quickly. Okay, so let's put that one in now. Um, how many times are we going to do it? We're going to do it 65 times. So I'm going to put the loop in straight away here. I'm going to write 65 dot times and do. What do we want to do? Well, we want to sample space colon the drum underscore symbol underscore closed. Okay, and after each symbol hit, we're going to sleep for just a quarter of a second. So it's a very quick sleep. And then we end it. Okay, uh, to mash that in with all of our other sounds, don't forget we need to put in underscore thread and then do. And right at the bottom we need to put another end in. Um, don't know if that's going to work. Let's have a listen. Pretty good. Might play it all the way to the end. Alright, that's sounding pretty good. Alrighty, so we've got our symbols looking good. Um, what we might do now is just jazz it up a little bit and throw in a few fancy little hits on the symbols and the drums here. So I'm going to write this from scratch. Just do in thread do. This is going to be a little um, hit on the symbols that just changes it up every four beats. So in thread do. We're going to do it four times. This one, so right four times do. What do we want to do? We want to sample space colon the drum underscore symbol underscore open. Okay, and then we're going to sleep it for four seconds and we'll end that loop off. Okay, we'll also end the thread. See how that sounds. So every four beats you should hear the symbol change itself up. Sounding good, but it's a bit loud. Okay, we can actually turn the volume down. So we've got sample drumble symbol open. Put a comma after that and change the amplitude by writing an amp colon and I'm going to make it 0.35. Like really drop the sound of it, or the volume of it. Sorry, let's have a listen. Yeah, that sounds better. Much more on par with the um, yeah, the symbol. And what else we got? Uh, the drums. Every four beats I might just play a little soft note on the snare drum. Okay, so let's just go from scratch. In thread do. I'm just going to match this sound in with the other ones. Uh, what are we going to do? We are going to, before we actually play this, uh, we need to sleep it for a little while. Yeah, we'll sleep it 3.9 seconds. Then we're going to repeat it four times. So four dot times do. We're going to sample the drum snare soft sound. Okay, we're not hitting it hard anymore, we're just hitting it softly. Then we'll sleep for four seconds and we'll end that loop and end that thread. So basically we're going to hit this snare drum softly, sleep for four seconds and then do it all over again. Okay, it's going to sleep at 3.9 seconds before it comes in the first time. So we won't hear it straight away. Let's have a listen. There it is. I was just thinking that might sound pretty good, that sleep 3.9 seconds up here with this drum symbol open. 
Okay, so let's just try that and see what happens. Pretty good. Mm, sound all right, but it's a little bit off. I might just leave that out, so you don't have to worry about doing that. All right, uh, last thing I might do is just have a crash cymbal get played at the very end of our song. Okay, so let's start with the in thread, so it plays along with all our other sounds. Put do in. Now we're going to sleep for 16 seconds before this one's played. There's no loop on this one because we're just playing the sound once. So let's just sample the drum cymbal open. And we'll end it. Okay, so after 16 seconds, when we're right at the end of our song, we'll play the drum cymbal open. And that's it. Okay, I think our song is finished. So let's give that a run and we'll see how it goes. Beautiful. So you might have heard that open symbol there get played right at the end just to finish things off. That was that last little bit. Alright, so we are now finished. So hopefully from this last video you took away how to sample sounds that are pre-built in to Sonic Pi. Okay, you should know how to loop by now. Okay, you can loop a certain amount of times. And remember to mash sounds together so they're all playing at the same time. We use the in thread line of code. All right, every time you see this word do, just remember that you need to end it as well once you've finished that little section of code as well. Okay, probably a little bit confusing there, but we have finished with ooh, almost 130 lines worth of code. We've done well, so save that up. I'm just going to call that song and save it. If you want to record your song and save it as an actual sound file, you just press record and run your sound. Okay, as soon as that song is finished playing, you just hit record again, that will stop it, and then it will ask you where you'd like to save your finished sound. Okay, so you can do that if you'd like to use your recordings to either upload to SoundCloud or use them in games, whatever you want to do with them. Okay, um, that is it. So well done if you got this far.